This video is going to show you how to embed some sort of object inside of your Google site. So the first thing you need to do is create something that has embed code and that can be um, a ton of different things. The thing I'm going to share with you is just a slideshow from PhotoBucket. So I've already created the slideshow in PhotoBucket and it's right here. Uh, very simple, I just uploaded photos and then I chose which pictures went in the slideshow and then it created the slideshow. Then I'm going to click on the slideshow itself and click on share. And really for any gadget, for anything that you create somewhere within it, a YouTube video, a poll, a survey, a, I mean really anything that, that is electronic like that that can be embedded has a code somewhere right close to it or you can figure out from the website how to get embed code. I'm going to go to get the link code and this is all in HTML so it'll look kind of funny. And then I'm looking for the one that's talking about putting it inside of a website. So this is email, layout for pages, HTML for websites and blogs. And I want it to be the full size. So I'm going to click on that till it's blue, right click and copy it. So now I have that embed code like copied. So I can close out of my photo bucket and now I'm going to go into my Google site. I'm already logged into Google sites. This is where I want my embedded thing to happen. So I want the slideshow to show up right there in the front of my screen. So now I need to insert it into um, Google Sites. A lot of the times you can use HTML right here, but I've found with certain things, Google Sites is kind of blocking that because they're worried about some, you know, like hackers and that kind of stuff. So if you go to Insert, at the very bottom of Insert is More Gadgets. When you click on More Gadgets, you're going to type in the search box Code Wrapper. W-R-A-P-P-E-R -P -P -E and click on search and this is the gadget that we're going to use to embed code. So we're just going to click on the code wrapper and select it and then just right click in the embed code box and hit paste. So here's my embed code from PhotoBucket. Then here at the bottom you can change the display size so if you don't want it to be 400 by 300 you can change it and you may have to mess with that a little bit and then you just click on OK and then your gadget will appear. Now remember with gadgets and stuff like this, um, I'm going to center it, you can mess with the properties left, center, right, um, that kind of stuff. You can always go back in and edit the size of it or the embed code but then you won't be able to see what it looks like until you save that page. Once you save the page, the code wrapper will pop up and then you'll have your little um, slideshow that you created. Well that photo bucket created. Uh, if the size doesn't fit, you can always go back in and edit your page. Click on the gadget and go to properties and then you can mess with it again. I'm probably gonna get rid of that title and I'm probably gonna make this 800 by 600 just to see what happens. And save. And there we go. And obviously that's too big, but at least it's a little bit better. So then I can go back in and edit that, etc., etc. So then that's how you embed something. And again, it doesn't just have to be a slideshow. It can be a poll. It can be a comment area. It could be a video. Um, anything that has embed code along with it, you just have to insert it using the, the code wrapper gadget.